Have you ever wondered why a video editing software slows down or crashes at the worst possible moment? The answer might surprise you. It's all about RAM. In this video, I am breaking down exactly how much RAM you need for video editing and why getting it right can save you hours of frustration. Stick around because by the end, you will know if the current setup is holding you back. RAM or random access memory is the unsung hero of the video editing. It determines how quickly your computer can process tasks, especially when dealing with large video files. Whether you are editing short clips or full-length videos, having the right amount of RAM can make or break your workflow. So, how much RAM do you actually need? Let's find it out. Imagine this. You are editing a 4K video and suddenly your computer freezes. Frustrating, right? This happens because your RAM can't handle the workload. But don't worry, I have got you covered. Let's start by looking at the minimum RAM requirement for video editing and what works best for different projects. For small projects like editing HD videos or quick social media clips, 8GB of RAM might be enough. But here's the catch. This is the bare minimum and you will still experience some lag. If you are working on more complex projects or using professional softwares like Adobe Premium Pro, 16 GB is the sweet spot for most editors. And for serious 4K editing? Well, that's a whole different story. Here is a fun fact. Did you know that rendering a 4K video can use up to 24 GB of RAM or more? That's right. If you are still working with 8 GB or 16 GB, you might be leaving your system gasping for air. But don't panic. Upgrading your RAM doesn't have to break your bank. I'll share you some tips on optimizing your setup later in the video. Let's talk about 4K editing. For smooth performance, you will need at least 32 GB of RAM. Why? Because 4K videos are massive and they require a lot of temporary memory to process edits and effects. If you are into color grading, motion graphics or multi-layer timelines, this becomes even more critical. Now what about Premiere Pro? Adobe recommends 16 GB of RAM as a minimum, but here's the kicker. If you are working with larger files or multiple layers, even 16 GB might not cut it. That is where upgrading to a 32 GB or beyond can make a world of difference. Should you go with 16 GB or 32 GB? If you are just starting out or working on smaller projects, 16 GB is a great place to begin. But if you are serious about video editing and want to future-proof your setup, 32 GB is worth every penny. Think of it as an investment in your creativity. Here is a quick stats for you. Over 65% of professional video editors use at least 32 GB of RAM to ensure smooth workflows. Are you a part of that group or is it time for an upgrade? Now let's say you can't upgrade your RAM right away. What else can you do? Close any unnecessary apps running in the background. They are stealing valuable memory. Second, use proxies for larger video files. This trick alone can save you hours of frustration. And finally, make sure your computer settings are optimized for performance. Here is the best part. Once you have the right RAM, you will notice an instant boost in performance. No more crashes, no more freezing, just smooth, efficient editing. Doesn't that sound good? Well, let me ask you this. What's your current RAM setup? Drop a comment below and let me know if it is the time for an upgrade. I would love to hear about your editing challenges. To recap, the amount of RAM you need depends on your project. For basic editing, 16 GB works. For 4K editing or heavy duty tasks, 32 GB or more is your best bet. And remember, RAM isn't just about speed, it's about creating a stress-free editing experience. If you find this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more tech tips and tricks. And don't forget to share this with a fellow video editor who might be struggling with their setup. I will see you in the next video.